I'm Derek McClure. I'm one of the founding directors and a voluntary director of Daisy's Cafe, which was founded some 11 years ago and trades here in Newton Arch to provide training and employment for people with disabilities. I became involved some 15 years ago when I had an idea that I would like to start some real businesses. Myself and a colleague decided we will do it on a voluntary basis and we set up two organisations, one here in Newton Arts and another in Larne. I myself took a virus in 1999 and had to retire from work on ill health but as the doctors got my illness under control, tried to go back to work and obviously as somebody who's well over 50, nobody wanted to know me. So I decided to use my experience and set up another charity. I had to go out then and teach myself the commercial business end of it. Through my volunteering, I've created a business which creates other volunteering positions for other people with disabilities. But I've also then taken my own skills and developed a second business, which we now employ over 200 people across the UK. Many people retiring or taking early retirement have a wealth of skills that they could bring to a voluntary social enterprise business. I'm Leslie Johnston and I'm the development manager on the Ignite Awards. Um, which are delivered by uh, Unlimited Engage. These awards are very unique in that um, through the programme we'll be going out and identifying 115 social entrepreneurs who are over 50 and who live in Northern Ireland. So we provide not just the financial funding but we provide the dedicated support of a development manager. When we looked at our, our, our numbers over the, the past number of years it was clear to us that we were not getting the same number of applicants from the 50 plus age, age group. So through this programme we had to do a lot more targeted um, outreach work. What we find is social entrepreneurs really value having the opportunity to meet with other social entrepreneurs and to learn from each other, to do that networking, to share expertise. When we have funded individuals, they have just the, the confidence that they get from that. They, they feel a sense of kudos from that. Derek McClure, who is an outstanding older social entrepreneur, he's always looking at new, developing new social firms, bringing um, people with learning disabilities and mental health at the heart of all the services that he does. My name is Trevor Ray. I work in Newton Arts. I've lived in Newton Arts all my life. And uh, I'm, I work in Daisy's Cafe at present. I discovered that I had uh, hypermania and I went to, uh, had to have been through the care system. And eventually I ended up in, in Daisy's Cafe. First of all, I went through, through New Horizons, who helped me get my education, catering education. Uh, Daisy's actually was a working practice. You no, know, uh, taught you how, how to actually work rather than, 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 than train, and uh, as a work, uh, an actual working environment. Well, if you've suffered a, a ill health or ma mental ill health, your confidence is totally disintegrated. So you, uh, anybody or anything that gives you uh, gives you back your, your own respect and, and confidence is is well worth the effort. This programme really is about celebrating the skills and the expertise that people have and saying to them, look, you're over 50 now, you have the time to dedicate to something that you have always wanted to do. Once they submit their application, it's very clear to us that they have really strong project ideas and they have a wealth of experience. I've been volunteering since I was 14 years of age, mainly with disability, but also with youth work, church work, Babylon clubs. So I, I think I'm born and bred as a volunteer. Some people do sports, some people skydive to give them a buzz. For me, the buzz is my volunteering. I get the buzz from it, I get a satisfaction from it. And I think there are many other people out there, people out there who would get satisfaction by seeing people's faces. And I think you only have to walk in here in the morning to see the smiles on their faces. And when somebody does get a job, there is such joy that it does affect you and that's what keeps me going.